Look at tomorrow. We'll have a few lingering showers in the morning and then for the afternoon and evening, mostly sunny skies with a high temperature of 82 degrees on your Wednesday. Most locations inland will see those lower 80s, but locations right along the lakeshore are talking about the upper 70s for a high temperature, 78 degrees in Muskegon and 75 degrees in South Haven. For those of us heading over to the lakeshore tomorrow, we'll see the water temperatures in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees. Winds are going to be a bit more breezy, generating wave heights ranging between one to three feet. At this point, there are no moderate or high beach hazard statements. However, that is subject to change, especially leading into tomorrow. If those winds become a bit more gusty as for overnight hours, the showers and storms will continue to build towards our southeast by 3 a.m. The majority of storms will be lining up along and towards the north of I-96, eventually moving over downtown Grand Rapids and Holland by 530 in the morning and closer to Kalamazoo and I-94 by 8 a.m. So as you're leaving for work tomorrow, don't forget a rain jacket. But the majority of rain is going to cruise out of West Michigan after 11 a.m. High pressure will be in full force, delivering mostly sunny skies for the remainder of our Wednesday. As we take a look at the extended and the future outlook, we do have that high pressure in place for the remainder of Wednesday night. A warm front arrives early in the day on Thursday, providing a heat wave. This is going to provide our high temperatures to be nearing 90 degrees on Thursday and a little bit more humidity in the atmosphere as well. Right behind it, a cold front will slide in for Friday, providing our next chance of rain. So technically right now we are not in a drought, but for locations that are closer towards our southwest, there are some abnormally dry conditions. This is something that's actually we're tracking each and every day here at Fox 17, and it is updated each and every Thursday. Our super seven day planner shows a high temperature of 90 degrees on Thursday with mostly sunny skies. Rain will develop on Friday, and as we take a deeper dive with our super seven day, rain is expected to accumulate across the area. It's actually going to be a more precipitable or more likely to see a little bit more rain accumulation on Friday, but most locations will stay under half an inch. As we take a look at the rest of our super seven day, plenty of sunshine in the mix for the 4th of July, a beautiful stretch of weather, partly cloudy skies and a high temperature of 86 degrees. Looking ahead, warmer conditions are likely to continue between July 6th and July 12th. So for those summer lovers out there, it looks like the heat will last. Stay tuned with Fox 17 for your latest forecast. And that is wonderful news for the holiday weekend, which means a lot of people are going to be out on the road. But if